Robert Oudmeyer, you are CEO of Chamber Money Bank. Uh, last year, Chamber had to pay 2 million francs in neg negative interests. Uh, but the negative interest rates uh, are also enabling you to reduce your refinancing costs, as you also mentioned. But at the end of the day, um, are the negative interest rate even positive for your profit? I think in general, we don't like negative interest rates. Negative interest rates do not give a good consumer sentiment in the market. So it doesn't stimulate, in my view, sales. So in general, we don't like it. If you look pure for a profit and loss standpoint for us, we uh, pay at the Swiss National Bank on our cash, on negative interest rates, but also it will gives us the opportunity to uh, refinance cheaper. So overall, it's probably slightly positive for us. But in general, negative interest rates are not good for consumer confidence. Some firms are complaining about being listed in the stock market uh, because it's expensive with all the rules and the duties that are come along with this. Uh, Chamber went public in October 2013. So how was going public for you? What is your experience? Well, first it was exciting to go public, but if you really look at what changed for us, I think under GE we already had a lot of compliance frameworks and we were pretty good in doing a lot of stuff that a public company should do. I think what really changed was going from one shareholder to 6,000 shareholders, uh, what we have today. So capital markets, talking to shareholders, I think there was a completely new dimension for us. But overall, as a business, I think we haven't changed a lot. It is just the external world for us that changed and made it completely different for us. So you don't regret this step? No, it is exciting. And I think uh, as a CEO and as a management team of a, of a bank like ours, it's exciting to be listed and you know to control more of your own destiny as well. Um, but um, I think the shareholder base was the big, the big change for us, not so much the business itself. Chambra is only operating in Switzerland, uh, but the Swiss market is pretty small and uh, seems to be saturated in some of your fields. Why not going uh, abroad and expand in other countries? Look, I think the big strengths we have as Chambra is that we know the Swiss market very, very well. We have a lot of risk experience. We have a lot of our people who are acting years and years in the Swiss market. So we know this market. I think a classical mistake that a lot of companies made was just to go abroad, buy a company of the same and try to run it as the same as well. Well, normally you end up that you know the market less, um, you have less experience, you spend a lot of management time and you get less results. I think our focus is really on the Swiss market. We want to grow into the Swiss market. We also are looking for M&A opportunities in the Swiss market. If we would buy something outside Switzerland, it would only be something that we will probably could use as well as a synergy with our Swiss business. But our focus is clearly on the Swiss market.